everybody so it is time for me to do the Disney cast member tag and so I saw this on Sarah Singe's channel but it was started by Melissa and I'm just gonna get started and look at all the questions okay number one what is or what was your position in the Walt Disney Company so I worked in Walt Disney World in Magic Kingdom at the Emporium so that's where I worked like every day um, I picked up shifts in some other places I picked up a shift in Frontierland lower Frontierland um, it was at the Splash Mountain gift shop and then the other gift shop that's like right up there I picked up a shift in Tomorrowland and I worked like in the, the little circle of different gift shops like I worked at the picture kiosk for Buzz Lightyear which was interesting because I didn't know how to uh, do pictures um, and then they moved me to Space Mountain um, and I worked in that gift shop and that was a lot of fun I really liked working there and then I worked at the little kiosk like the Toy Story kiosk like the vendor thing and then finally I for my last like hour like my last 30 minutes I worked um, at Star Traders so I did that and then I also worked in Hollywood Studios one day um, working on sunset so that was a lot of fun um how long have you been or were you with the company i was there from january 2015 to july 2015 so six months like it was a little over six months what do your costumes look like so for the emporium i'm gonna put pictures but for the emporium you have to wear like a plaid skirt and then well, for girls, anyway. You have to wear a plaid skirt and then a white top. And the top can be short-sleeved or it might be long-sleeved. Um, but I always wore the short-sleeved one. And then the guys wear long pants, long sleeve shirt, and a vest. Um, Tomorrowland is kind of, like, spacey and weird. Um, Frontierland, it was really cool. It was the most, it was the comfiest out of all of my costumes. Um, super comfortable. It was kind of short too, it was like the shortest one of my costumes. And then in Hollywood Studios, it was like a strawberry type, type dress. It was really cute. Um, I never really had a bad costume. The only like funny story behind costumes is the people in costuming are not always the nicest. Um, if you work in costuming and you're nice, I'm sorry. I just like the people I know aren't. So when... <laughs> I went in to Magic Kingdom costuming the day I was supposed to work and I'm like hey so I need the Tomorrowland costume look it's over there and so I go over there and I don't realize that they're you know which is the male which is the female so I got the male costume and luckily they were cool they're like you're working here one day you know for the future and I was really glad <laughs> that they weren't that many. What is the silliest thing a guest ever said to you? Oh wow. <laughs> Um, one of them would be, where's the Emporium? As we would stand, like, in the middle or in front of the Emporium. Um, when people would ask for, like, uh, Sarah said this in her video, but I agree, like, for Universal merchandise or Warner Brothers, like, they'd be like, oh, so do you have a Spongebob shirt? Or, you know, stuff like that, and you're like, no. And then, um... I mean, there's a lot. <laughs> I mean, guests are awesome, and like a lot of this wasn't like intentional, like duh, like moments. But <laughs> there were just some moments when guests would say stuff, and I'd be like, oh, okay, <laughs> or I'd have to like explain why why that's not like a thing or why we don't have it. Oh, like okay, this one guest come up to me and they're like. Darkwing Duck. I don't know if you guys know what that is. So like, why don't you guys have any Darkwing Duck merchandise? I'm like. Well, that was a show in the 90s, <laughs> a cartoon, and they haven't really had anything for it since the 90s. And, you know, they have stuff for movies that were put out a long time ago, but it was just like, you know, those movies are still relevant and people still, you know, they, Disney still like releases them and has re-releases and is making live action versions. I don't think they're doing that with Darkwing Duck. <laughs> So it was always funny when people would like come up to me with like lesser known characters like why don't you have this and I I get it to an extent because I love Max from Goof Troop and a Goofy movie and it's really hard to find anything so I get it it was just kind of funny um, how outraged people would get that we didn't have like the lesser known characters because <laughs> I get it like it's not like in a 
I was making fun of the guest kind of way. It's like more of a, yeah, I, I get it. I get what you're saying kind of thing. What is the most magical moment you've had as a cast member? Um, there are a lot. <laughs> I think this is my favorite story to tell people. Um, when I was working at the Emporium, there are six rooms, and I know that they've changed, like, the rooms and everything, but at the time, the very last room, which the Emporium is connected with Casey's Corner's dining room, so, um, it was that very last room, nobody ever was in there, it, especially late at, late at night, like, this was, bef like, right before the park closed, so it was about an hour before the park closed and I was stuck over there until the end of my shift and I'm like, oh, why? So one of my um, coordinators came up to me with this balloon and if so if some, we found like a balloon that didn't have an owner and it had been a while, like it had been there for a while, then we would um, take it and make a magical moment with it. So. He's like, well, do you want to make magic with this balloon? I'm like, there's going to be nobody to make magic with this balloon with. And he's like, well, we'll see. And if, at the end of the night, then we'll just give it to somebody else. Uh, so I'm like, all right. And I had it behind my thing. <laughs> and so the, these guests came over, and in that room, they had a, a pin board. And so they're like, oh, can we look at your pins? And we said, we're like, yeah, and I love pin training. So we started talking and they said, it's our last night of vacation. And they were just really nice. And I had asked somebody else to go get the other pin board. And so as I was talking to them, they had not like super young kids, but they were still kids. And I'm like, okay, well, wait, hold on a second. So I turned around, I grabbed the balloon and I said, Mickey Mouse gave me this balloon and said that I was supposed to give it to a family um, that was deserving of it. And I gave them the balloon and they were so happy. <laughs> and I put it on Facebook and I was friends with my coordinator and he liked it. And he's like, this made me so happy. And you said you weren't going to be able to give it away. I'm like, it was such a magical moment. Um, another one would probably be I had a guest come through my line um, and they said that they were buying all this stuff for their neighbors who had adopted kids from foster care so I got them I'm celebrating buttons and it said I'm celebrating finding my forever family and they were really happy <laughs> and just seeing guests happy is magical for me what is your favorite part or perk for working for the company there's a lot <laughs> I would say getting to go to the park whenever I wanted for free was amazing um, because basically I could walk in and spend only like an hour there and I didn't have to pay to go in so I didn't feel like I was wasting money going there. Um, so that, the discounts were really great and also like the cool company D stuff that you can get and just like overall knowledge I think. Of the new stuff coming out because you get to know that stuff. What's your favorite piece of merch of cast of cast member exclusive merch that you've gotten? So I didn't get like a whole ton of exclusive merch for cast members. The best cast exclusive thing that I got was my name tag because I didn't like there were no cast member exclusive pins or anything um, that I saw when I would go so yeah, I mean, I'm not really too upset about it. Like, I have a ton of memories. <laughs> Just they're not cast exclusive. Like, the uh, items anyway. I have cast exclusive memories. <laughs> but If you could try a different role than what you already tried, what would it be and why? So, I used to say I wanted to be a character attendant and that, no. <laughs> Um, I would really like to be a coordinator or a trainer um, for merchandise. I just think that'd be a really cool job. Um, it'd be really hard, but I really loved most of the coordinators and trainers and leaders in my program, so I would love to be able to do something like that. Um, teaching at the Disney University would be really cool. Um, another cool job would be to work for ABC Studios in some way, um, like writing for them, because <laughs> that's definitely part of Disney. I would get people that worked for like ESPN and they would have like, you know, because you get, if you work for Disney, you get them for free, um, even if it's, because Disney has a ton of sister companies, so something like that would be really cool. 
so thank you guys for watching and tell me if you've been a cast member um, if you've done it if you've been a cast member or you are currently do this tag because it's a lot of fun um, tell me what your experience if you have any questions about the Disney college program or working for Disney just let me know and I hope you guys have a magical rest of your day bye